What's up, guys? So, Shit in the Fridge, Season 2, Ep 4, 20. Oh, 20. That's right. We are shooting the faux 20 episode of Shit in the Fridge. That's, we gon' do pot. Pot. That's right. Because we do not encourage the use, sale, trafficking of any sort of illegal substances. This one might be legal in some places. But as you can see, we are no longer in my kitchen. We are going out and about to other people's houses and looking at what they got in their fridges. So this episode of Shit in the Fridge is brought to you by this person's house. Really? It's there? There. There it is. It's right there. Kyle. We're going to use whatever they got in order to make this here pot pie. So anybody that's out there that's had a pot pie, probably frozen, probably that banquet, which was Danquit back in the day when you were a little kid and you came in the house and it was cold, and your mom was like, oh, I made pot pie, and you were like, yes! Because you knew she didn't make it, she put it in the oven, because it was in the freezer, and it was delish. Maybe you had Salisbury steak, oh no. We are going to use a wonderful locally made, locally sourced butter, harvested and cultured, recultured, rechurned. Um, by one of our lovely um, production staff. So they are all just blitzed out of their minds. So I don't know whether or not this episode is actually gonna turn out the way we want it to. Brian, they made this here butter. We're gonna make pie crust and then fill it with whatever is in the fridge. Won't you join me? Well, hot damn. That looks like a lot of Indian food. Um, we doing this? Yeah, all right. Looks like we're doing Indian food leftover pot pie. Roll it! You know what? I think it's time we start getting that cheddar. I mean, rolling them papers. I mean, making dough. Pie crust. Remember, we're making pot pie. Let's get going on that pie crust. So we have tandoori chicken, frozen peas, alu gobi, which is actually potatoes and cauliflower. It's a vegetarian dish. I know we're gonna add meat to it, but for all y'all out there, shit in the fridge, you wanna make this vegetarian, just don't add meat. So we also have lentils uh, and we have cubanelle peppers. So just random low, kind of mild, mild-ish, not super spicy peppers, some carrots, onion, and some kale. We'll make this all nice and cute and pretty. Also, everybody in this room but me is having a challenge with breathing and eating and giggling. So, guess we should probably just get through this. Brian, stop eating my M&Ms. So, let's get our carrots peeled. Now, I grabbed whatever is in this here house, because remember, not my house. I did not upgrade. I still live in the hood. You know, you know why you want to wash and peel your carrots, guys? Because you don't want to eat that outside that's been in the ground with all the doo-doo. Get a quick dice on those. Next up, let's get our onion. Remember, remember, we're using onions because that's what they had. If they had shallots, we'd use those. Maybe you should listen to Prep List Season 1, Episode 1, Onions vs. Shallots. Find out why chefs like myself might prefer to use shallots over onions and why you, when you uh, maybe, I don't know, forgot about Valentine's Day, decided to go pick up an onion real quick because you don't know how to cut down a shallot. Next up, peppers. So like I said, we've got Cuban elm. It's a mild pepper, similar to banana pepper or a wax, Hungarian wax pepper. Um, we're just going to slice this down the middle, pull out that there pith, then there pith, 
because we don't want any of that. I mean, you don't have to pull out the fifth at home. Typically, most people don't, um, just because they don't know no better. Don't stack your peppers like this and then cut, because that's how you cut yourself. Also, what's the most dangerous tool in the kitchen? Dull knife. So make sure your knife is nice and sharp. You don't want this knife to be a dull. All right, so we've got our cubanelles all nice and diced. Brian, put down my m and Peppers in the bowl. Next up, cut down this kale. Get this kale into a bowl. We're gonna take all of our tandoori chicken, uh, traditionally tandoori chicken, which is a yogurt spice marinated chicken that is then grilled uh, over charcoal. We're gonna take all this off the bone. We're gonna dice it up and then get it into the skillet. Never been to Japan before, but we wrote a song about three of us in Japan and our label has to pay for it. Lonely Island? No one? Make sure your pan is getting hot. How do we check to make sure that the oil is hot? A couple drops of water. Snap, crackle. Crackle, lackle. Mmm, get some of that color in there. And then we're gonna add our peas. Those in there and a little bit of salt. You notice why we're not putting any black pepper in here? Because this dish is already spiced pretty well from all of the leftovers that we're using. So we don't feel the need to add additional spices to everything. All right, so we're gonna let the onions start to, you know, get a little little softer, soften those onions. A Little bit of color on the kale, um, take some of the chill off of those peas. Next up, we're gonna slide everything over. Should be some oil still in your pan and get the chicken in the pan. So once again, we really just wanna take the heat off of this here chicken, uh, tandoori. And then once we take the heat off, we'll mix everything together. And then we're gonna add our aloo gobi, potatoes and cauliflower, and our uh, lentils. So the lentils are gonna be more or less what gives us that, that sauce, that filling sauce that you want. Cause traditionally when you make a pot pie, uh, you make like a gravy with all your vegetables, your chicken, your beef. You do all of those things traditionally, but shit in the fridge. Next up, we're gonna add some of our aloo gobi. Oh, Christian, why aren't we cooking this all the way through? Why aren't we not doing all things in the nice sear? Because it's a pot pie. It's gonna go in a dish. Then we're gonna roll out the pie crust. We're gonna cut it, and then we're gonna put it on top and bake it in the oven at 375 for like eight or nine minutes. Heard? You all are out there are like, when's he gonna shut up and show us the end of the episode? Last thing, into the pan. We're gonna put our lentils, some of that sauce, that lentil sauce. And we are going to bring everything to a mild boil. A little bit of thimma. We're gonna bring it down now to a simmer. Get it nice and crispy. Now you can hold this off to the side and just let it simmer for a little bit while you put uh, roll out your pie crust and then punch it, cut it, whatever you gotta do it. Touch it, bring it, babe. Watch it, turn it, leave it. I'll never know the last word to that song. But, you know, whenever I'm struggling <laughs> because I've had some struggle ingredients, I just, you know, mumble. It's like that song and then to flip it and reverse it. Talking a lot so that this boils. So that they don't play elevator music and write a bunch of subtitles underneath me. Are y'all hanging in there? I'm pretty sure you're not. I'm pretty sure you probably have some movie about a bunch of Puff Puff Pass Pass on on your laptop, or you're watching this on your laptop and watching that on TV, or you just have your phone and you're at work giggling in the corner. Stop, go back to work. How you gonna pay for all the good good? You ain't got no job, baby. I got this right here. You can do one just giant pot, like cast iron skillet, put everything in it, roll out your pie dough, put it on top, poke some holes in it, put it in the oven. You can do that. We're gonna do the tiny ones because we don't want someone to just come by named Brian and just eat the entire pie crust off the top and then run around in his underwear for like an hour. That happened once. Into the pan goes all of our good good all of our filling, our Indian pot pie curry filling. Indian stuff in the pot. Don't fill it all the way up to the top. You know why? Because you're gonna put the pie crust on there and you don't want the pie crust to bubble. It's already gonna bubble over because we are struggling. Remember, Struggleville, Rona's not over. We are still struggling. It's still Lord of the Flies out there. Just today, it's Lord of the Highs. No lows. You're gonna put the pie crust on top, you're gonna poke holes in it, you're gonna put it in the oven, 
Eight minutes ish, 375 degrees, middle rack. If you want to, put all of this into one giant cast iron, roll out your pie crust, poke some holes in it, put it on top, crimp those edges into the oven. You can do one big giant thing. Looks like it's time we get that dough out that dough, roll it out on the flow, and then eat some out. You left it in there for at least 30 minutes. You could also leave it in there overnight. Or if you're not gonna make your pie dough right now, just make sure you tighten it up, shrink wrap, Ziploc bag, freezer bag, put it in the freezer, like, bump. A little bit of this flour, some of this white, white, little bit on the top, and then we're gonna start working it. So it's gonna still be a little crumbly when you start working it. That is okay. We are warming this up. We're gonna help develop some more of this here gluten. One thing to keep in mind, the more layers, the flakier that this pie crust is gonna be. We are going to layer this until all of this here pie dough comes together, because you know, we want them layers, we want some of that development, we want it to get nice and high, y'all. The pie crust, rising in the oven. God, you guys are a bunch of stoners. Remember to use some of that flour, you don't want anything sticking to your rolling pin. Y'all, y'all gotta open the windows, like I just can't. We're gonna take, cause they were kind enough to have extras of these, a couple of these here pans. Now, if you don't have a pizza cutter, pizza roller, you don't have a knife, if you don't have a knife, uh, you obviously could just do the classic technique of like that, and maybe it works and maybe it doesn't. Doo -doo -doo. Did not work. We're gonna take this butter knife we found. And uh, we're just going to cut out our pie dough. We're gonna take our cut out pie dough, we're gonna lay it very gently over the top of our Indian curry pot pie. That is now a pot pie, guys, congratulations. I mean, we still have to get it in the oven, we still have to cook it, and you still have to pay attention to it because you need to set a timer. Don't set a timer to go out and go chief again, all right there, chief keep. You're just gonna set a timer so that you can get it out of the oven. Now you notice that we didn't do no crimping really, because crimping ain't easy when you're making struggle pie. Think I need to cut it loose? Yes, I do. That's probably too many little crimp slits. Not my Indian pie. It's all nice, pretty there. It's all pretty like. So now we're gonna get this on a cookie sheet, get it in the oven, 375 degrees, like eight-ish minutes. Just keep an eye on it. You want that top to be golden brown. Now, the other thing you can do, we ain't gonna do it because there ain't no eggs in that fridge, but you can make an egg wash, brush a little bit of egg wash on there, get a nice sheen, flaky, crispy uh, top to that there pie dough. All right, so remember that when that pot pie comes out of the oven, you don't wanna eat it immediately. You gotta let it just, hey, 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 come back. What are you doing? No, 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 stop. Just right there. Are you serious? That's my whole thing. Hey! What is your problem? Right here. Focus on me. We good? This is your brain. Oh. This is drugs. You're right. You know, these are those 90s things, right? That's what you think. This is your brain on drugs. Well, there you have it, kiddos. Our 420 pot pie with an Indian pot pie twist using the shit in the fridge, bunch of takeout, and our local butter pot pie pie crust. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and preface this. Don't eat this all at once. You're gonna have a horrible time. Like, then you go from Struggleville to struggling around town on the struggle scooter. Christian Gill, shit in the fridge, stay hungry. Uh, Snacks. Your, uh, I feel like a, like a slice of butter melting on top of a big old pile of flapjacks. Hey, what's up, guys? Don't forget to follow our Facebook page, The Culinary Gang, and like, comment, and subscribe on our page, YouTube, right here.
Uh, stay hungry.